Greetings everyone, hope you all are doing great. I first want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, you guys and girls are awesome. Let me first state the reason for this video, it's actually after me making this comment where I was describing how to get the Dark Drinker. Hours and the Void kills as well, uh, which there's another good awesome place for that. Um, of course this was caught by Jamie Meadowcroft saying, doesn't show spot, come on man. Yeah. Well, you're in luck, Jamie. I'm dedicating this video to you. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? The spot I was referring to was a section in the mission's Siege of the War Mine. Once you reach the respawn restricted, you know you're in the right spot. The object is obviously to use void abilities to kill the foes. One tip I will say is that if you are using a hunter, equip the Quiver perk in the Night Stalker ability list. This will give you three times the void kills as seen here. One. Two and three. <laughs> Just kidding, I totally missed him. If you are using the black hole perk, uh, it will only count as one kill. And this, this is not a void kill. Now to go through some of the mechanics. We will just start walking in here and only using our grenades and our void abilities to kill the thrall. One of the nice things about this spot is that if you get in trouble, you can just come behind this first square in the walkway and the thrall will not go past this. Once you have cleared all the hive, you will run into this yellow bar knight. That guy. Don't kill that guy. But at this point, you can no longer live with yourself any longer. Killing all those thralls, you decide to end it all and jump off the side. However, this does not end you as your ghost will just rewind time and you get to live your own personal hell all over again. And just like any good farm, wash, rinse, repeat. I hope this was informative and another shout out to Jamie for catching this. My name is Ravnus Flamingo and I hope you have a great day.